Good evening, Final Fantasy Randomizer fans and RPG Limit Break viewers. We are here tonight with a very special race. Lord Fizzlebeef taking on Edgeworth in a lower bracket match for the ages. My name's Caleb. I'm in the booth here with Odron. How are you doing, Odron? Doing pretty good. How are you doing? I can't complain. I get to watch two uh, longtime FFR players compete for their tournament lives in this matchup. Do you want to talk a little bit about what the party compositions look like here? Yeah, so they're both running a thief, which has plus five luck and plus 800 gold, so they're going to have some buying power at start. That's great. Yeah, uh, be able to buy but, some spells early. Yeah, maybe some armor and weapons. Yeah, but both running that fighter with plus 20 strength and plus 25 agility. So, built-in temper and a little bit better at dodging? Yeah. Basically like a baked-in uh, stack of an invis. It's always nice. Uh, those black mages are starting with uh, alien magic in level 8, so fire 2, lit 2, ice 2, and plus 10 vitality. That's really good for the Black Mage. It's going to give them a little bit of extra... Early vitality is huge when it comes to HP growth, so Black Mage is often victimized by their low HP count. Going to be looking a little closer to Red Mages here for their HP yeah. growth. So our Red Mage uh, on Fizzle's side is going to have 3 Invis 2, 2 casts of it, and plus 40 vitality. That's it's crazy. going that, to be a tanky boy. Yeah, that, that Red is going to be keeping up with a fighter with HP. And then over on Edgeworth's side, we have that white mage who has level 8 tele magic and wood evade. Teleport magic, early warp and exit is so huge. And the wood evade, going to give that white mage a little bit extra evasion should we find the wood helmet, the wood hat, the wood shield. It'll be a real tale of the tape if, if exit and warp roll high and Edge gets the advantage or edge, if you will, with the early teleport magic. That could be huge for Edge's early plays. Fizzle, on the other hand, sticking to his guns, never white mage. And we'll see how that works out for him. Fizzle? I can't wait. Yeah, I can, but <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Fizzle, uh, Fizzle's a good friend of mine. I'm, I'm not going to give him too much of a hard time here, but he is... Well, stick to his guns all the way through. The only time you see him take a white mage is if he's forced to take one in a draft. So, I know Fizzle also does not like to check March Cave in these flags, so we'll see if we have an early March check from Edge and whether or not that ends up being required. That could be a storyline coming through here. Um, but the fact that both of these runners here in the lower brackets, it's crazy. I talked about it in the pregame when we were just hanging out in the booth. Edge, a former spring tournament champion from 2018. Fizzle, a long time, long standing member of this community. Been a leader in the community for almost as long as I've been in the community. So almost like five years. Been really helping organize and run the, uh, the Discord server, helping get these events organized. And uh, probably everybody's favorite giant robot enthusiast i would imagine at least in the the ffr community i'm sure other people have their, their robot their giant robot fans that they have in their lives but it's gonna be exciting to see and here we go we got a gate drop oh yeah yeah silver wow a four sword fairly cheap Silver plus four is, is great, but we're not going to pick that up. Edge, I like, it's interesting, checking the armor shops first. Going to get that vanilla chain armor, going to get that early swords, banking on equipment over spells with that 800 gold allowance. And once Fizzle's stream starts going, we'll, we'll make sure we get these streams synced up. Arm four Ooh. is great for the white mages. That's like baby fade. I also get Invis 2 and Life. And that Life is going to be Night Learnable later, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It will be. It'll also be Red Learnable, but level 1 nuke and fast! Oh, oh man. So, fascinating. Fascinating, because <laughs> both runners will have big non-elemental sweepers. One will be two nukes, one will be a nuke and a harm four. Both runners will have at least two fast casters. 
both runners will have at least two life casters should they promote, but Fizzle will have to wait for promotion in order to get life on the Knight and the Red Wizard, but huge, 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 huge. Edge is a fan of making the little pit stop and going to Dwarves first, so we'll find out what these two boxes are. This is a little trick I picked up from them. Okay, I was wondering where you uh, started yeah, doing did. that. I did. Oh, there's a ruby. First box tofu. I, I did commentary for Edgeworth's race versus, I believe it was Sorbius, and they were talking about this being a, a heads up play because there's a boat. So if we want, we can dip bottle. over to Provoco. Yeah. So ruby, silver plus sticks, and a canal. So they get to leave uh, NRC really early if they choose to. Yeah. So you remember when I was talking about early March? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Might not now see that do, tonight. <laughs> we can do early Earth without a rod and hope that we find it there. I still think we're going to have to... We'll, we'll end up checking Matoyas. We're going to check Provoka. I don't know when Fizzle will head to Dwarves. It all depends on what Bicky and the Royals give us here. Well, if there's a... No bridge, right? Yeah. So no bridge. To dwarves. Yeah. So... A little movement advantage for, for Edge in your early game, just being able to zip around with the boat, but we'll be quickly caught up here because Edge is now going to walk up to Tove to take care of Garland, get the ruby, get the canal, and then we'll have some decisions to make as Fizzle begins buying weapons, and that silver plus four is such a good sword. That is a Vorpal plus four. Hard. It's a Vorpal plus four without the crit. <laughs> <laughs> Take that however you want it to be. <laughs> Are you saying the Vorpal's good, or that the Silver Sword is better? Take it however you really. want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Rorschach test. If you like the Vorpal, hey, if you don't, alright. But that Silver plus 6 is also great. Like, if we find those for sale, that's that's huge. That's, what's yeah, that, I mean, 27 Absorb? That's better than Iron Armor. If it the gold Cheerio rolls neutral or negative, the silvers are better at that point, correct? Yeah. I think even a gold plus one is about the same. Actually, it's slightly one less, because it's 15 versus 24. But on and through. Fizzle gonna do his triple hoorays. Gotta pay Hooray. respects to the hooray dwarf. Something took out Edge's Thief. I missed that. I mean, but. the Thief is just taking a nap. They do that. So a little bit of allowance from the king and 2,000 gold is going to be great. That's going to finance our level 2 magic purchases. Might help by a uh, early shop item if ex exists. Oh, is lit from Garland took out the thief. Ah, that'll do it. Those empowered level 1 spells are wonderful when you need to do them, but terrible when well, <laughs> they happen to you. We found our rod. Found a rod and a key. And a key. Oh, man. So, early rod, early key. My spider senses are tingling. That floater is on Earth 4. I don't know where the canoe is going to be. Probably on Sky 4. I don't or know. Or Sky that 3, rather. Or be in Marsh Locked. Tell me, man. My spider senses are tingling. That floater is on Earth 4. <laughs> These are my kind of seeds, not an early canoe. Let's go. Early canoe, yeah. everything gets all wibbly and it's impossible to predict, but. You're right. Time and sea will probably not be in Marsh Locked. I, 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 I think Marsh Locked is going to be a little bit of money, maybe a shard, maybe a, like a, a nice piece of caster equipment. You know, mage stick, defense sword, something like that in the, in the middle one. I mean, defense sword is nothing to uh, sneeze at. Oh, no, not at all. But with the incentivized roost stick, uh, you know, well, not incentivized, but well, I guess it is incentivized. It's just the the placements of the items aren't necessarily incentivized. It's just we know all of the fetch items are going to turn into something. And there's the crystal, so we got to go back in the boat, boys. Level two ruse, heal two and wall. That's really good. I love to see early wall. Wall will help any sort of play we want to make on Lich. Uh, question from chat from Meridian BC. Good to see you, bud. This is a 28 shard. Oops, all loose. The fetch items turn into better equipment and a tail. 
There are 32 shards in chest and the additional 12 you can get from the fiends. That is correct. So I think there's 40 shards total in the pool. Both runners taking the time to finish up their Provoca plays, and as expected, we are hand in hand. The only difference here is Edge's early play into dwarves giving them the boat, but Fizzle also has the boat because we had to come here. So we're all kind of about the same spot here. Uh, yeah, I think they're just going to be holding hands up until they check dwarves, dwarf locked, and possibly elf locked, and then we might see them split. I mean, with early key, I think we'll see a Canaria lock. I think we'll see a Dwarf lock. I don't know. Ooh, oh. Tail. I, I don't know if we see Elf locked until we're promoted. I think we will prioritize promotion over Elfland, because we can yeah. check out the lower dock. With that Tail, I definitely yeah. agree with that That's, now. This is a super kind setup to be able to promote essentially before the 10 minute mark having access to a full dungeon having half of our key item go mode and with the key the only other key item definitely being required is the tail uh, we will likely need to find the canoe we will need access to some more dungeons but I've completed a handful of these seeds without ever stepping foot into Volcano, Sea, or Sky, but some combination thereof will need to be attempted and cleared just to find those 28 shards. Oh man, I hope the loot's and ordeals. Oh, did I mean? Oh, I thought that I said the loot. I might be getting ahead of myself. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, I'm... A little out of it. I guess I said the tail because I saw the tail. I was I'm saying the <laughs> words that I see instead of the words that are in my brain. But Fizzle gonna check TOF locked. This is a this is a smart, heads up play. Both with better trap treasure turned on, the lower right box and the top right second box are gonna have better than normal treasure within them. So edges uh right behind going up mm -hmm. there. And the only there's a chime. Wow. All right, so canoe on Sky 3, still feeling pretty warm and fuzzy. <laughs> Ice shield plus five. That's such a great find. Because we're going to be able to equip that on our ninja when we promote, and if we find opal shield or ages, that's going to be great. Edge like, is going to be able to catch up a couple seconds here with that White Mage's uh, ward. Mm -hmm. Fully decked out fighter. So yeah, we are hand in hand running through the Canarian forests. Where's the route divergence going to come? Is Fizzle's going to go for Dwarf Locked? What's Edge going to do? to assume the same play. same play yep same play especially with having that warp and exit on the white mage it just makes sense so, to do it now here's a question for you odron you have rod you have ruby you have tail do you promote before going to melmond oh, do yes. you go to melmond entirely because there's not a whole lot to be gained from clearing like to to um promoting before going to earth we don't have really promotion equipment we don't have we won't have levels for spells so yes, but if you find say like an aegis shield or a katana while you're in earth mm -hmm. being able to just put it straight on feels so much better yeah it's just it's that time commitment of sailing all the way down there uh, Oslodo, our restreamer, big shout out to him for doing the, the restream once again for one of these winter tournament matches. Done so much work behind the scenes, making sure this goes as well as it has. Uh, calling for promo first, and that's what it looks like Edge is doing while Fizzle. No, no we're going, going to. to yeah, we're going to Elfland. All right. 
can do elf I wonder lock. if Edge might uh, go check I'd... Mirage after promotion if they decide to uh, go promote right now. Ice plus one, flame plus three. That's that's pretty nice. That's a solid suite of elemental resists on that fighter. Another sliver here, so I think that puts us up to four slivers now for Fizzle. Fire level. three at level three? That's not bad. Mm -hmm. More importantly, no teleport magic yet in the first two levels. Ooh, Fizzle gets more really good cool equipment. Though. Yeah, pro rings and iron armor. I mean, we already spent money on iron armor, but, you know, can't be mad at that. Honorable ogres, it's, uh, you know, free level. There's, There's exit. And that is red mage learnable. But red mage ain't gonna get level uh, four slots for a while. Lit three is expensive. <laughs> <laughs> that's an expensive three. Another sliver, so that's five now for fizzle. Houses are expensive. You hate to see it. You truly do. They keep talking about it becoming a buyer's market, but I don't believe it. Well, you see, it's not actually ever going to happen. They just want us to think it will. Uh, huge play here for Edge, selling that Opal Shield, getting like 12 grand. Uh, I did see some wooden equipment available, but not not looking to wood evade the white mage. I mean, the white mage is the life caster. You're going to be wanting to put a ribbon on there as soon as you find one. Sure, but in the meantime... Marsh you know, Yeah, keep it... Uh, yeah, so this is this is the round of versions. This is the play that uh, Fizzle's going to avoid making 9 times out of 10, but Edge going to go up and check Northwest Lock first? Nope. Just burning that encounter. That's a so. lot of encounters to burn, right? Let's start. Mm -hmm. Like I said, these guys are veterans of this game. They they know encounter minute better than really anybody. Like Fizzle, I remember having a conversation with him with doing some ridiculous self-imposed challenge of running like three seeds that like hot swapped between each other for the marathon. And just having to learn encounter manipulation the hard way. Uh, <laughs> Bridge and Earth Cave, you truly love to see it. I mean, it can come in handy later on if they don't get floater and uh, have to canoe from like sea or mirage to yeah. uh, get back to or Corneria. Edge has found TNT, which. Could turn into the ribbon, could turn into opal bracelet, bruise stick, uh, power bonk, Excal. Excal. Uh, Fizzle finds a slab here on Earth 3. That's the first notable key item that we found in Earth 2. And yeah, Classic Gamer calling out in chat lo loves to see the, the March play from Edge, knowing that Fizzle's going to fade it, and Edge can make this check super fast with exit on that white mage, provided the white mage stays alive. Yeah, it's sometimes uh, not a guarantee. <laughs> but we are super ended right now. We have a lot of mages on delays, not hitting a lot of unrunnable encounters. Fizzle is closing in on the vampire floor here, or on the vampire door, rather. Do the Earth TFC and see what's here. Not finding a lot of unrunnables right now actually makes me worried for the late game. So Dragon Sword and the Better Trap Treasure Box is nice to find. It'd be great if it rolled up, but that's yeah, something for the thief to swing. Yeah. But so far nothing really doing here. Bottom of Marsh, we got three boxes left to open. Two shards in Marsh Cave so far, it's fine. It's a Lich kill, worth the shards. Yeah. It... Alright, so Money. nothing in Marsh locked. Nothing of, uh, no, no progression or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, But we do have, whoa, walk right past it. I've done All that right. plenty of times. 
So lots of money, a couple of shards, and some okay equipment. So Fizzle will likely never walk into the Marsh Cave. But Now, if that TNT does turn into, say, the Excal... And... be huge, yeah. Ooh, wow. flame plus flame. four sword. That's great, because now we can move that silver plus four onto the red mage, and we have two viable melee swingers now. Edge making the last key lock checks here in the NRC. to see what Astos has got in his armory, if you will. A shard. A little money and a shard. All right. So. Uh, we up. saw a marked chest. Oh. I don't think we're going to see what that boss rolled anytime soon. <laughs> I'm just going to leave the vampire's Xbox alone. <laughs> oh, come on. You have two nuke casters. You, you could get wiped in the first turn. Nah, we're good. We're good on that. But And, and that knowledge of where it is might inform Fizzle's like routing, like maybe we do want to hunt out. Hey Odron, what did, what did uh, Fizzle just find on Earth for? Uh, a shiny rock, I think. What did I say 10 minutes ago <laughs> was gonna happen? <laughs> Tony, man, not early canoe seeds. I can read these things like a book, but Ooh, you give me an early like canoe and I'm just level five. fumbling around in the dark. Uh, Ice 3 at level 5 black. Unfortunately, Saber is just out of reach for the ninja. Life 2 will be Red Wizard learnable. Again, like, if that TNT... Well, we've already got the tail, but if that TNT turns into, like, a big sword, like, that could be huge. There's our loot. So, well, there is key is item go mm -hmm. And Edge will be there eventually, but... If Tides has the canoe, Fizzle will get it as soon as he's finished with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but otherwise, it, it's looking like we need to go back to we need to go to Mirage for progression, unless Sarda or the Titans have something. Well, Sarda has a nice shiny crown. It's no progression, but yeah. we get to go visit the kindly old king. Yeah, we'll find out what he's got. Uh, meanwhile, Fizzle on and through Lich 1. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Look at all these Wait, nukes I got. There's a Lich? Yeah, it's the Fiend of Earth, uh, the Earth Dungeon. Huh, I thought it was yeah. just an exit. No. You haven't wiped enough on Earth 4. <laughs> <laughs> or Earth 5, rather. <laughs> Lich will humble even the, the, the strongest of runners in some in some seeds, but not today. Yeah. All right. Does he Edge, roll what, damage poison? He can roll blaze, he can roll damage poison, even blizzard ink can be incredibly detrimental to an early game party. Uh, Fizzle gonna get his whole lot of nothing from Titans. But we'll get I mean, the crown. That was a mate stick, wasn't it? It's we got level one nuke, bro. Like it's fine. <laughs> but edge a whole earth cave behind Fizzle at this point. Fizzle a whole non required marsh cave and lower area key locks behind edge. So I guess we'll see where we land when Edge walks out of Earth, how much of the lower Elfland area Fizzle has completed, and if he's just on and through to promotion and... Fizzle oh, reset should be out of that crown. I mean, he has the floater. Uh, it's a quick check to go back to Sarda. Like, we know the crown isn't going to turn in to Canoe, so... Yeah. Could still be a ribbon. It could be, but we also have early wall. So, and we don't have a way to get to another fiend anytime soon, so it's fine. So we'll translate this slab. Oxiel, or we're going to find Cube and Mirage. Oh no, it'll be it'll be Oxiel. One hundred percent be Oxiel on Sky Two or Sky One. Like probably 
it's either going to be in that center cluster on Sky 1, or it'll be in the greater than symbol, so the right-hand wedge, on Sky 2. And if it's not there, like... Because it's going to be there, oh. and then Canoe is going to be on whatever side of C I forgot we don't all do about first. Crescent, but Fizzle did not. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to keep my voodoo going. Crescent... We're just going to get, like, a consumable item from the old men. But we could have a shop item. We could have a shop herb or something like that. But yeah, Oxio Mirage. Oh, Cuban Sea and Canoe and Sky. Classic. That would that would match up with the, the Sky 4 or Sky 3 Canoe I called for. No shop item. Meridian saying Canoe is Bottle Turn-In. Unfortunately, Bottle Turn-In can't be Canoe. Bottle Turn-In will be a piece of incentivized gear. Um, and also, it couldn't be bottle turning because we can't get into Gaia without the canoe. So, there's. I, hey, look, oh my beer. god. Do, do you want to know what's funny? It doesn't matter because no one will believe me, but I almost said that old men are going to have the herb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're just but, sitting around. Yeah, because it's either herb or adamant is left for the, the fetch turn ins, but. Yeah. Gonna pick up some pro rings here, I believe. I mean, this is the kind of seed I wish I was running because this, this, I feel connected to this seed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you're not playing it. Yep. But our runners are gonna get like, they're, with how kind the front half of the seed is gonna be. I mean, Fizzle looks like he's already making shards. Um, Edge will be three shards ahead of that when they finish Earth because we got the three out of the key locks. Provided Fizzle doesn't do all of the checks that Edge did, but so Edge gonna be looking like 28 minutes in with 15 shards. Like it feels pretty good. Yeah. In my yeah, that feels pretty good. Like to be more than halfway finished your shards with Sky and C in front of you. Because we know the Axial is going to be in Mirage. Like, <laughs> it's the only place it could be. It could be for sale in Onrack. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it could be, but it won't be. <laughs> you don't like that voodoo? No. But let's see what the herb turns into. This is new info. Is it going to be like Vorpal? Vorpal plus two or something like that? Uh, could be Axial minus one. Oh, oh. Plus five. oh, we were both wrong, but that's a huge armor upgrade. That's crazy good. That thief is uh, not getting touched down anytime soon. 49 absorb on that? 32 plus 5. No. I can't do math right now, and I refuse to do math on stream. Yeah. No, Edgeworth, no need to do math. Edgeworth lost the white mage? What happened? Hey, chat, what happened to Edgeworth's white mage? I'm going to assume the vampire fizzle the getting really confused about the boxes here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened, how we had to open every box again, but Oh, the white mage the nap apparently. That's fair, but now it I mean we know that Lich wasn't too spooky. But we only have one new caster. Yeah, but there's also that uh, flame plus four sword being swung. Mm -hmm. And that thief can uh, cast harm two now. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Doing a little gear shovel. Three boxes to go, and... Fizzle just about finishing up the Elfland checks, the only difference now being the Crescent Lake check. So if Fizzle walks all the way to Yeah, we're not we're we're abandoning Northwest and No, we are gonna go to no. Northwest. So this is mm. fascinating because we we left Crown behind, like you said. Yeah. So this this feels like it's gonna be just a big reset back because it was just a shard in here. Yeah, I can't see him walking with one shard back. Yeah. There's Edge's loot, and there's the big reset back to Elfland. So, 
not too much of a time difference here, given that Edge no. did all of Marsh and is, you know, about to be on their way to Lich. So, pretty even Stevens, except the, the Crescent Lake check and all of Marsh for Edge, but... don't think Fizzle's going to be going near Marsh at any point in the future. No, he, he will 100% fade Marsh the entire seed. And rightfully so, there's nothing there. Here comes Gear Shuffle 2024 for Fizzle as we move promotion equipment around. Edgeworth doing their best to keep the most viable party alive as possible. We need to keep that Black Mage up for Lich. Taking on Lich with just Fighter Thief is spooky scary. Yeah. We want to get at least one nuke off before that Black Mage dies. So Light Axe, we're going to swing, and we're going to fast that Flame Sword. Flame Sword, two hits, 166. Lich gives us a free round. Light Axe comes out for 80. I don't think Lich is going to survive this round. Another Light Axe, another swing, and a nuke. Ford's 347. Nuke should take care of Lich. Big old nuke yeah. roll, 306. So, Fizzle. On to Mirage, where progression lies ahead. Now, do you check the desert now, or do you do Mirage first and try and grab some shards? It's interesting they didn't save getting off the boat, now he has to fight this Ankylo. I always save after the boat, man, just because this is the last thing I want to deal with. Oof. That ninja a big hit. Ankylos are the worst. Yep, and Fizzle having to reset back to Bahamut. Minor time loss there, about 30 seconds, 30, 45 seconds time loss there. And I know in the grand scheme of things, counting time losses like that feel pretty insubstantial, but with these two runners, this, this seed is probably going to come down to about two minutes between the two of them. You know, like whoever wins this... Like these, both these runners are great, and Edge is gonna... their herb here. Fizzle finds his first. Oh what? Cube. Was that the Cube white shirt as well? That was a white shirt and a black shirt. <laughs> I saw the black shirt rolled plus four. I think the white shirt rolled plus three. Yeah. So both of those shirts fell out of Sky th or Sky Two. So, Man. Lazy Cube. I wonder if Fizzle is kicking himself for not diving Sky immediately, but with loot and floater in hand, like, from Earth 4, probably feeling pretty okay. Pretty good. I mean, you don't have to worry about hunting down the loot. You mm -hmm. got that Opal plus 2. Plus 5? Plus five. Plus There's five. Pro Cape, Ice plus four, like, what the heck? So much good equipment down here. There's level six Brack, okay. Sky provides. And there's there's our canoe. canoe. So, Fizzle, do you continue to clear out Sky or do you go get in the air? That's, uh rough one. I mean, you're already here. Yeah. Might as I think well finish. He, I think you got, yeah. You gotta finish it out. Because you're gonna get a good amount of levels just walking up there. Uh, provided you take some some fights. Because um, you're gonna need some HP and some levels to take care of Tia at the top. Yeah. With level Ooh, 6 crack. Yeah, and Fizzle doesn't have exit to kind of do any sort of trench warfare mechanic like come in, come out, come in, come out kind of stuff. So level nine doesn't feel great to take on Tia, but you can always hope for a whole bunch of eyes. But it's looking like a whole bunch of Gur Medusas. Yeah, but we're not taking the fights. We're just running. They have sleep touch. That's fun. Better than Death Touch. <laughs> Insert Death Touch Kermadusa memes. 
Uh, Edge is going to go to... Turn in that crap. Astos, yeah. So if that ends up being our Excal, or Ribbon, for that matter, massive play. I'm going to say... Look for... Nope. Ooh. Power Gauntlet. So Fizzle will get that Power Gauntlet, because I would imagine once we're in the air, Badman also with Sleep Touch is disgusting. Both of those come in very large packs in Topher. Mm-hmm. All right. Those melee hits are not doing anything to those bad men. But it's enough. Yeah, level 10. Doesn't feel like a good fight, but the experience no. is nice. Another ice sword. That's probably gonna go straight onto that red mage. Yeah, still looking for. Oh, we're gonna keep it on the ninja. Still looking for in game weapons. Rune plus one is a nice to have. I mean, come on. The ice plus four could be an end game weapon. Ah, Danny, our illustrious tracker, pointing out that Fizzle does have exit at level 4, but doesn't have charges yet because Red Mage refuses, or Red Wizard in this case, uh, refuses to, to get spell charges in any sort of meaningful way. Gold plus 2, some more slivers. Gonna leave the gold 2 behind. I guess, I guess that works. I mean, we got the opal bracelet probably on the Red Wizard. We probably got the black shirt on the black wizard. Yeah. Uh, another sliver, so sky paint. There Ooh. you go. Aegis plus six. To quote Saracen, we take those. That is a big shield. So 12 shards for Fizzle. I thought we had more shards than that. I must have seen the screen wrong earlier. It's okay. I don't know how to count either. Edge has 10. Should have three oh, ribbon no, plus four. We definitely take those. Yeah, you don't leave that behind. That might be some bad luck protection for Fizzle if he. Ooh, Edge worth uh, checking Onrak's shop. Spicy. Gonna buy some houses. Uh. Huh. It's a cheeky check if Cube is for sale there or Oxiel is for sale, but we know Oxiel will likely be here in Sky 3, or it will be in Waterfall, Ordeals, or Cardia. I so mean, running out of places for the Oxiel to land. It could be in Ice mm. or Volcano? No, you're right. You're right. Yep. Yeah, Ice and Volcano. Yeah. Another Sunfors 2. Still looking for an in-game weapon. I mean, these are fine. Like, you would hope to find a katana, but we need that. At, with this point, we're not going back to the vampire box. We're not going to get that Masa unless... No. Because everything rolled up, at least. So any one of these swords could be an in-game weapon. We don't like that that's our option, but Vorpal or Excal feels like the way through, and the fact that we still haven't found a Katana yet yeah, also doesn't feel bad. great. Yeah, because we've opened a lot of boxes. I mean, we're only 35 minutes in, Ooh, but nice box. the fact that Fizzle has full cleared Earth, the majority of the key locks in the inner sea, all of uh, Sky now basically minus four boxes, and... Looking pretty okay on short. There's a neutral katana. Neutral katana. That feels kind of bad. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Edge at the bottom of Marsh or Mirage, rather, is going to begin their climb and start making their way up the tower to catch up with Lord Fizzlebeef, who is sitting comfortably on his Never Marsh throne and getting another sliver out of the, the Sky Four Greed. Or Sky 3. I keep saying Sky 4. It's so weird. <laughs> this is Sky 4. Hey, hey robot! Goodbye, oh. robot. 
We, yeah, one nuke would destroy us. Look at those. Look at those HP levels. <laughs> one nuke about all that experience. Oh, you gotta listen to your lizard brain. Lizard brain is so important in FFR, and it, that little tickle is like, I could do it. See the levels. Of that little lizard brain is like, first turn nuke. Just keep going. <laughs> Stay alive. Stay alive. Not even taking a fighter. Interesting. Let's is see. Fizzle what, uh, one of the like strong Fizzle will take levels in Topher. Yeah, Topher three enthusiast. That's yeah. what I was trying to say. He'll grind for like three minutes in Topher to get his levels, but we're gonna make Tia work with just fasts and nukes. Let's see how this works. We Ooh, do have that... one ribbon. Low roll nuke. Another low roll nuke. Six, 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 six damage. Six. Uh, Let's go, baby. Gonna start needing to do more damage. Here. I need to do but something. Tia playing nice. There. There's a good new roll, three forty six. So we're probably about half, a little over halfway through. Tia's vanilla HP, maybe like eight nine hundred HP in. Close to about a thousand. There we there go. go. Uh, I was getting worried that we were going to run out of nuke charges. Level 11. But we have nine shards to go. And That's hey, there's an honorable line, Kylo. We have Cardia, Volcano, and Ice. Because we're probably not going to do Waterfall on Ordeals. Yeah... Ordeals just take so long to get to. Meanwhile, Edge in a little bit of a bind there on that blue D fight. Drops the, the, the knights on a knee, but we're gonna we're gonna heal pot up and continue our ascent through the Sky Palace. I did see that we have like eleven shards on Edge pre Sky, so Sky did uh provide a lot of shards. Mm -hmm. ah, checking magic. Nothing good in yeah. black. That slow rub. Body massage strengths. Level, Level eight, 8 temper. Oof. Unmarble. We're not getting that today. Thanks, elemental magic, for making this possible. <laughs> well, at least we know there's a easy to grab power bonk. Mm -hmm. If Fizzle goes back for the crown, Excal plus one. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, an Excal is an Excal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like, I, like I said, Excal minus one is even good yeah. through the, the Fiends Revisited. It's just like Masa. Even if Masa rolls minus one, it's a good sword. Yeah, it'll do work. It does mean that you need something for chaos though Vorpal, katana masa something because yeah. xcal minus one isn't gonna work but xcal plus one we get that power bonk working it could it could do work yeah that's gonna be a lot of power bonks with no tempers though sure we'll find a roost take some Vorpal Ooh. plus four that'll do yeah or not I think we we almost re reshuffled our equipment and just said no. <laughs> Made people excited, no. and then just uh, yeah left. Ribbon pick up for Edge. Fizzle's gonna go back and get the crown. We'll go back to see what that crown turns into, and hope that it's the power gauntlet. And we know that it will be. What level does the Red Wizard get exit? Char or level 4 charges? I think 10 or 12, something like that? 10 or 12, somewhere in there. So they, they should have exit charges now. I wonder if yeah, they have, they have two, about they have... going down and trying the Warmech box. Maybe, but we got a power bot now. I think Fizzle's comfortable. We're gonna probably go do Cardia or Volcano. 
got a power bonk in hand now. I would love to see him pick up that shard out of the armory. Thank yeah. you, Jizzle. Makes uh, life a little easier. Mm -hmm. Alright, Fizzle on their way to. Looks like. Cardia. So we're gonna do Cardia? Possibly spells? No. Nope. Spells. Yeah. Might as well pick them up now since you're in the area. Yep, gonna grab Newt, gonna grab our third fast caster, gonna get life for the night and the red. And this is the important life. This is life one. Life one is usable, usable in, battle. in combat, yeah. It's always risky though. You gotta love a battle res. Be, like a level three elemental spell or a nuke coming yeah. out right after you do that res. Fizzle, please. <laughs> Thank you. You mean it's not an airboat? No. Another flare and a little bit of money. Meanwhile, Edge cleaning up their equipment. Slightly better levels than Fizzle coming into. And there's Octale. Mm. So here's a question for you, Odra. Yeah. You have Fizzle's toolkit. You have Oxyale. You have the canoe and floater, so you have access to sea, volcano, and ice. Where do you go? Do you go to the crescent area for ice and volcano, or do you go? Oh, I'm going to run around volcano after these cardio checks. Okay. Yeah, because it's like they're basically the same amount of boxes in both dungeons. I think technically, Sea Shrine has one more box, but the fact that he it's. He wants two. to grind in Topher, though. So, Volcano, yeah. with all of its damage tiles, are going to be much quicker checks and less uh, pesky encounters. Yeah. He's proving that's, me wrong. That's fair. Yeah, that's uh, that's why we don't try to guess what our... Um... Oh, Vulc oh, thank you, Saracen. Saracen pointing out in chat, our Duckling Don, letting us let me know that Volcano has one more than Sea, not the other way Oh, around. wow. All right, level 12. 43 minutes in. I'm pretty sure this fight here will give Edge a level, so we'll see where they are comparatively here. Level 16. 16. So Rube's pointing out a 2 plus Kraken. That's a... Uh... And... After this, Edge will need... F Once Edge kills... Game will need 7. So we know that there was at least like 3 in... The cardio box. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense for coming here. Just hope for the two off Kraken side and Kraken mm -hmm. kill. I just like the density in Volcano better, especially with the That's armory. Fair. That's fair. Level. 13 now for oh Fizzle. man these unrunnable unrunnable, unrunnable sahags taking me back four years <laughs> so a long time ago odron i don't know if we've ever talked about this the randomizer used to not be able to differentiate between a and b side encounters so if an a side of an encounter was unrunnable the b side was also unrunnable i remember you, this yeah, do you know what the B side for the Wissahags and Arsahags are? Give no, bonus points to anybody in chat that knows what the, the B side or the what encounter the Wissahags and Arsahags are the B sides of. That is saying pirates. That is correct. Let's continue this game. What's <laughs> what's the B side of the Garland encounter? Oh, crickets, that's right. Alright, so Edgeworth <laughs> taking on Tia here. As punching Fizzle those got nukes. The guards he needs. And on his way to Kraken. 
Oh, and Linkshot remembers but forgets. The B side to Garland is Wildham coming in in the eleventh hour. It is the Iron Goal. Oh. It's the Iron Goal on Sky or on Tia Floor and Topher. What about let's play let's play let's play another one, Odor. What's what's the B side of the ghost? Of ghost. Uh waters? It's the Phantom. Oh. Yeah, the B side of the waters is just a larger water pack. Um, oh, that's not fun. The, the, those three are I called out because in the old randomizer, they would have always been on runnable. Because well, if the if the phantom rolled on if the ghosts rolled on runnable, you knew the phantom was runnable. But pirates were always on runnable, so hags were always on runnable. Garland's yeah, always on runnable, yeah. so iron goals are always on runnable. But that's pretty gross. Yeah, but iron goals were super rare because counter eights didn't exist. And the so, old randomizer, uh, the black mage, is taking a nap on uh, Fizzle's that's side. Cool. It's important to get the rest. You gotta get your eight. We should be okay here. Excal should do work. Two is one thirty nine. Whoa, uh -oh. that was faster than Whoa. Excal. Whoa, there we go. Even so the Katana at... only hit twice. Interesting little nugget here. We don't have. I don't remember seeing Quad X or Stun are big, big words. No. So. Fizzle, 40, we'll call it 48 minutes in, by the time we get back to our airship, has his shards, is in go mode, and Edge, skipping Cardia, gonna go, nope, I thought we were going to Volcano, no, we're gonna go turn in a bottle. Makes sense. Yeah. Let me check the black magic. There's our, oh, no. uh, that can't get level 8 black. And Meridian, long, old time classic developer for the Final Fantasy Miser, used created the iconic co op system that is always a hit over the summer. Uh, pointing out that the devs back in the day brought in unsides and spike tiles, which led to the third eye grind and things like that. A lovely grind. Yeah, so Fizzle's probably going to be here for a few minutes, taking some levels in Toph as Edge heads to the volcano. Edge, There's a bit of a hesitation there. Yeah, Edge needs seven shards, so five and a carry kill. That might be asking a lot. It might be. Because mermaids might be loaded with shards. Ooh, green dragons on Fizzle's side. You love to see it when you're doing a XP grind. Jumps up to level 18. Lots of walking around. More dragons. I haven't seen a single shard in the armory yet. No, this is this feels bad. We're exiting out. Going deeper. Feels a little bad because we know that the Cardia will give the Oxyale and but there's no like if you're playing chest density, like volcano feels like the right play. But, it does. Yeah, the the with how quickly you can check Cardia, like it also could easily be argued as feeling like the right play too. So it's that whole six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. But with the amount of shards we've seen in the game, I don't know if there's much left to be found. Yeah. I mean, Sky did provide. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
Fizzle did his three minutes of Topher grind and is headed to Canaria. Gonna replenish heal pots and the last know, thing you want to do. Me. Last thing you want to do if you're Lord Fizzle Beef is Fizzle Beef your heals. So there's one shard. Not checking the the Grey Worm box there in the top right. Still haven't seen Incentive Ribbon. I bet you that's the Adamant, which will likely come from the Volcano or Ice. Dragon Ooh. Armor plus six and another shard. That's a nice find. And fizzles into run mode, so this is this is the dive. This is the but this is not just an information dive. This is Fizzle's dive to try to take this home. Man, that was a juicy fight, though. Mm -hmm. You see that plus, that plus 40 vitality. 522 HP on the Red Wizard. That is just crazy. The lizard's going to make a great pink against Chaos. Yeah. Part of we can keep him alive. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have life on the night. It, it'll sure. be fine. Sure. Things have never gone sideways before in Topher. No. It always goes 100% as planned. Yeah. So, Edgeworth going to take out Carry. I can't imagine Carry 1 giving us too much of an issue here. We got Excal, we got Vorpals. We got katanas, we got fades, we got nukes. Did Edgeworth get the Vorpal? Uh No, he hasn't he hasn't he didn't ever he did never walk down a Lafay, but we got a katana. Yeah. Um, but we'll have no choice but to Cardia. Three shard short should get that in Cardia. So Looks like we're headed yeah. to Lafane. Nope. Nope. I thought we might be headed to Lafane. Because it could be the ribbon. Stop from Lich 2. Just puts a stop to that ninja. <laughs> oh boy. These are the jokes, folks. This is why we all came out. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to tip your trackers and restreamers. So, Oxiel for Edge. Two shards to go. We'll get them. And levels about the same as Fizzle's, so... If anything goes sideways here for Fizzle and Topher, this is... Both runners will probably be coming into the Tibble Fiends around the same time. Provided anything bad happens. I would never wish anything bad happens. Why, why are you trying to commentator curse? It's trying! I, I hear that venom on your words. No. All because oh, no. you took we the need, red maid? We need one more shard. I thought there was three shards, and that's Yeah, I wasn't bad. sure. I'm like, I think there was two, but maybe I missed one. I, I'm right. sometimes bad at that, so... Carry is... Fine. She's hanging in there. Seven hits, 962 from a fast at Excal. Gonna get her every time. So Edgeworth comes back in to Onrak after Ooh. doing the cheeky little shop check here. Unrunnable Earth Shark with the Hags. Yeah. Yeah. Edge gonna check the quick boxes here. We're gonna do Mermaid side first. So we didn't see mermaids for our fizzle. So, there could be a couple ribbons hiding over here. Well, at least one, because we found the one in Sky, and then there's the incentivized one that we know is behind the uh, Adamant. But I mean, hey, yeah, I guess Adamant, could Adamant, Adamant could be here. It's probably an ice, but it could be here. There we no, go. We're not gonna find out though. Nope. All right. Edge, not wasting any time. Gonna leave C and immediately just uh, did Fizzle hit another unrunnable encounter? Fast lobsters. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> All right, keep and run on a knee. Up to level 24 now as Edge. 
Look at that. Those how are gonna... were casting fast, Saracen. All right, Kraken two. This is the the first true gatekeeper. We're gonna get life on the night for Edge. Fast for one damage. Oh no, that was a non-fastest swing for one damage. Fastest swing for three. It's two twenty nine. Gonna need to dump some lock twos into this Kraken. He's a slippery boy. Four hit. Ooh. Quad X. Glad we bought those pro rings, but it, yeah. essentially another free round. Kraken should be gone here. A couple lightning threes gonna go out. Goodbye to new. Bye bye. It's okay. We have plenty of life. Plenty. Oh yeah, even life two. Mm -hmm. It was also promotion lock. All right, T at two. What you gonna do? We're gonna fast and fast. Four hits, one sixty-eight. All right, Katana swing. Five hits, three nineteen. So not bad. Almost five hundred HP in. Yeah. We're gonna fade and we're gonna nuke. Another fast three twenty-one. Chunking through about a thousand rub free round. Looks like Chaos is gonna be our gatekeeper if we're gonna have one. Yeah, I mean, Warmack might have had all the nasty things on it. Five hits, seven eleven. We're gonna use another life too. We're gonna pick Nuke up and head on to Chaos. His edge has pulled Lich too, so like I said, this is anybody's game. Should Chaos. Decide to keep things interesting. This will double checking weapon scores here. That Excal just looking a Our little better bunk. than that Ice Sword. Our power bunk and double fast just in case one of the wizards went down. So we're going all. Oh no, it was fast on the ninja. Okay. Makes Nine sense. hits. Ninja's gonna do good chunk damage. Nine hits. 256, so not a lot of evasion, but a good amount of absorb here. Six hits, 438, nukes coming out. This just might be swing, swing, nuke, nuke. No more power bonks. Oh, well, we don't. 211, so we are in a precarious position should Chaos have spells or skills. Yeah. Going all damage, standing up all the way on that gas pedal. Another nuke, 186. A second nuke, 176. Lightning 2. Chaos does have a spell script. Lightning Could 2 continues scary. off the party. 7 hits, 306. 5 hits, 246. Chaos taken a not insignificant amount of damage so far. 178 from that nuke. 7 hits, 242. And there it is. 5 hits, 321. Sub Get those power. GG's in chat for Lord Fizzlebeef. Let's Moving see. on. An official time of 58 minutes and 32 seconds. GG's. See if he wants to. Hello, Lord Fizzlebeef. Hello. Welcome in. GG's. Well done, buddy. <laughs> Edgeworth has lost their white wizard to Kraken 2. Uh, Wadams. Wadams, I thought you were real name. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Fizzlebeef. Yeah, it's the one. What would you. So, not even a, a, a white mage with telemagic is enough to take one. No, but it made me scared. It made me absolutely panic mode scared because I knew Edgeworth would take one. Yeah. Um, and it's hard to understate just how much time a properly utilized telemagic character can save you. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew I was giving that up because, because I'm going against Edgeworth and I need my speed and power. Uh, why why the reset out of the Vorpal? I thought about it, and the, so the the biggest thing about the Vorpal is that it does amazing if you can just layer buffs into it. And I was locked out of temper, so mm -hmm. I wasn't 
gonna have much time for buffing it and I would have been rolling the dice on unrunnables on the trek back from Lafane and ultimately I decided it was not worth the risk and I just I just had to go I just said we were on the clock we had to move all right uh here comes edges hole of chaos you want to take this one out Ron? yeah so we got a wall coming out power bomb fast and ninja's gonna be swinging lit two from chaos we didn't really see too much besides punches and that, that lit two. too yeah white shirt uh lock i think that was another power bomb mm -hmm. oh a heal pot use Chaos was fast. That's Ugh. scary. Ugh, we don't have a whole lot. Of we got a little bit of evasion. That uh, white wizard casting invis two instead of using the shirt. Chaos uh, saying no more black mages allowed. Uh, heal two coming out and another power bonk. Edgeworth just wants to send chaos away. Wait, Invis 2, Power Bonk? List 3. Hmm. Sora's gonna hit so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> I mean, we saw that Chaos didn't have much evasion, and I'm pretty sure Edge got at least one lock two out. Yeah, there's at least one lock that went through. Excal Swing! 7 hits, 8, 26. It's damage time. 8 hits 1346. <laughs> this is catharsis. Just working. Seven hits 921. <laughs> Chaos uh, panicking, throwing out a lit 2. 6 hits 601 and GG's Edgeworth. GG's the Edge. They, I mean, not too far behind considering the, the big route divergence early on. Let's see if yeah. Edge wants to come in here and join us. But. An official time of 1 hour, 2 minutes, and 50 seconds. Wow. So about 4 minutes difference between the two. That's a marsh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One day. One day, Lord Zelbeef will be required to go to Marsh Cave. Only when required. He can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> Welcome on in Edgeworth, GG's. GG's, Edge. GG. Hey, thank you. How you feeling, buddy? I'm out. I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that feeling. It, yeah. It's like, oh, I lost. Oh, wait, I don't have to worry anymore. Hooray. I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> That was a, a heck of a, like this was this was a an absolute joy to watch the two of you run through the scene like it was just a clinic of like there was nothing really gross that either well uh, from the booth perspective there didn't seem to be anything super gross now Edge was there anything in your run that felt gross to you uh I mean just routing decisions that was about it yeah yeah March not having anything felt kind of gross yeah there's uh, like the... yeah oh go ahead i was gonna say there's like what two three shards down there but yeah, yeah. not a not a single key item for i think only the second time in any of my runs so wow yeah yeah still don't know where that adamant was we know that the adamant turned into the ribbon but hmm. neither of you found it so i'm assuming it was in either that the gray worm box on the agama floor that you didn't check edge or somewhere in ice Ades, probably ordeals or it's, waterfall fetch items don't land down there <laughs> fetch items are always <laughs> in the inner sea or earth cave <laughs> or melmont continent yeah except for this sea. yeah <laughs> adam it could have been a nice but uh fizzle it's did anything gross. feel super gross to you while running this not gross per se, but I was unhappy with uh, the number of unrunnables in Earth Cave. Um, I, I was actually starting to feel like if there were too many on Earth Four, I, 
I might have trouble with lich, which are words that resist mm -hmm. coming out of my mouth, but like the it's, yeah. and, and the, we're still like it's ogres and grogers. Like there's no upside to having to do that encounter like five times. Yeah. You had a flame sword, you were fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh like four unrunnables in a row in C was just teeth grinding the R Sahag with Sahag pack. Again, yeah, zero yeah. upside. I, I was no. worried they were going to have a script on you. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, at least there's that kindness that they didn't really seem to have a, a, a super nasty script. Mm -hmm. So That's I'm going to guess you didn't do Volcano either? I was, I checked um, Cardia on my way to Volcano. Um, I was a little uncomfortable with the number of shards I was going to have to dig out of Volcano. And while I was up in Cardia, I found the Oxiel. And I was just like, oh, now I only have to get like three shards out of C and then kill a Kraken. This is easier. Let's do that. Yeah, I wish I would have done Cardia first. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough call. Like, I get it. Like, Volcano with the big chest density. And, you know, it's it's so it's it's can go either way, you know? Yeah, there's two at the bottom and I needed six and I got five. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, it's tough. But you're free. Yeah. <laughs> it's a feeling we all strive to experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm trying to think. So any I, I, I know the answer is a, a loud, resounding no. But was there ever any sort of consideration to go back for the Xbox in the Vampire Room? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was there any desire to take the War Mechie Saw in Sky? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 end, I'll, I'll expound on those a little bit. Uh, no to going back to the War Mech box in Earth because that's just too deep and when Warmech opens with its nukes, um, that's just <laughs> a lot of time that you've just lost. Um, and similar reasoning for why I didn't take it when I was in Sky. Like, I'm... I did see that, the, unfortunately, the White Wizard or White Mage got pretty much deleted through uh, your Earth Dive, but... Mm. That felt a little bad. Yeah. Yeah, Earth Elemental on steroids. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> but but the wood armor. Well, yeah, I, it... I would have bought it had I seen it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think I saw a couple pieces. Like I think I saw some one piece was for sale in Elfland, and I didn't really see any other armor shop checks. They're like, for me, paying attention to like, oh right, Wood said we should be looking for that, but. I'm going to assume one or two pieces were only in Gaia and just ruined the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this was a, this is a great race. I mean, both, both of you coming in like under 65 minutes is crazy. Like this is in, in an alternate universe. This is like a finals match. Crazy. How, the, how well the two of you play in these flags and, um, it was a lot of fun to watch. So I'll pass it to Odron to see if you got any questions for our runners and we can kick it to final thoughts. Uh, I mean, we covered most everything that I can think of. I do this thing where sometimes I ask all the questions that my co-coms wants to ask. <laughs> so I figured I'd get out of here. Oh, you're, of that. you're good. <laughs> we we kind of discussed everything uh, together. And then, yeah, so let's go to our uh, winner of the race, Fizzle. Any final thoughts? Say, say, say no to telemagic white mages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, looking ahead, Fizzle, you get to take pickles and beer on. Yep. How do you feel about that matchup? Uh, mm -hmm. Panic. Um, we'll go with Panic. Oh, wow. I really won, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. 
pickles can be beaten. I've done it like five times out of a hundred uh, pickup races. It's, it it <laughs> feels like when you, when you talk about the lower bracket, it feels like Gimli talking <laughs> about the fellow talking to the fellowship about the trek to Mordor. It's like, and after that, it gets even better because you get mm-hmm. the winner of Chanigan or spells at. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it gets even better. You got to deal with rubes, and then and then you get your reprieve, and you just get to beat me and go play price teeth for the win. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, it's it's the gauntlet. It doesn't end fizzle. So, <laughs> congratulations. My goal, uh, my goal, <laughs> much like with the bingo tournament, is to be the person who has played the most races in this tournament. Well, there you go. You're on your way. <laughs> <laughs> your your Sisyphean run continues. <laughs> And... See, I, I almost had that honor because I did round one and upper, lost mm-hmm. in round two upper, mm-hmm. had to go to round one and lower, and it's like, hmm, this feels like I'm going to be racing forever. Oh, I got ra- round one by and then immediately lost. So I, I was I have been in lower since round one of lower. The... Um, like Albert Camus taught us, we have to imagine <laughs> this if this happy. So Fizzle, <laughs> you must be happy in the position that you're in. Mm-hmm. I don't think you're as happy as Edgeworth is. Um, Probably Edgeworth, not. Your wish has been granted. You have been set free. <laughs> um, it was it was super awesome seeing you come back for the tournament. I was really excited when I was talking to Fizzle in the run up to the event, and he told me that you signed up. I was just like, maybe I should unwithdraw and join because if Edge is playing, I should play. So. Um, I guess I have you to blame for being here. <laughs> wow, I should have waited until the very last minute, then. <laughs> I was prepared to wait the last minute, too. But yeah, no, it was um, super, it's always a, a treat watching you play this game. Uh, as uh, I think Danny said in the, the pre-show when we were just hanging out waiting for the broadcast to start. You decided to come back, and you couldn't even do us the courtesy of being rusty. Well, at least I did the courtesy of losing this match, so you're welcome, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> but GG's Edge. Any uh, final thoughts on the the seed, the tournament as well? Um, anything at all you want to talk about? Uh... Thanks for putting on the tournament. It was a lot of fun. Uh, kind of cool to come back. Uh, appreciate all the warm wishes, and thank you for doing all this. Fizzle, can you give me the champion roll back? I think between that and a burger, that'll go a long way to making me feel better today. <laughs> <laughs> and done. Uh, you rock. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Speaking of burgers, hungry, great. Uh, Cheese burgers are one of my my favorite foods. I mean, I the so my my biggest critic, Osloto, our restreamer, winter tournament staff, uh, committee member. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna get my uh, marry my grievances with winter tournament right now on air on RPG Limit Break. The seeds are too fast to talk about food. <laughs> Generally, there's an opportunity where there's like downtime, where there's a grind, or both runners are kind of like flip flop and doing the same thing. And I get to talk about food. So now that we're in post game show, Edgeworth, what are you gonna get on your burger? Uh I don't know. It's it's not quite grilling season yet. I might mm-hmm. just go to uh Whataburger and get a double. It's a trusty okay. option. Ooh. Yeah, Whataburger's pretty good. But they don't have them they don't have them up by me. Uh we just have like five guys in Shake Shack up here, but Whataburger, like I think last time I went to one I was in Florida. It was pretty pretty good. I could go to Whataburger. That's a good idea. <laughs> hey, alright. What about you, Fizzle? What do you put on your burger? <laughs> uh as it happens earlier today for dinner, uh Is it a burger? I ordered a bacon jalapeno cheeseburger. Oh heck Ooh. yeah. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, sounds great. Cheeseburgers, for those who don't know, my favorite food in the world. Um, I'm always down to talk about cheeseburgers. Odar, what do you put on your <laughs> burger? Um, it kind of depends. 
if I'm feeling barbecue, sure. I'm going to put bacon, onion rings, barbecue sauce, cheddar cheese, and yeah. some uh, fried onions. Yeah, that's amazing. Fried onions and onion rings. I love it. Danny, unmute yourself and tell me what you put on your burger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very boring. I had a burger yesterday and it was just cheese, lettuce, onion, pickle. That's another, that's basically a Big Mac minus the secret sauce. It's great. I love yeah, it. There's nothing wrong with that. Osloto, researcher, if you want to tell us what your favorite burger is, I would love to hear it. And just please don't tell me it's like brown sauce with donair <laughs> sauce on it. <laughs> Inside jokes don't play, though. For folks that are on the Discord, they don't know. They don't know our ongoing war about donairs and sweet condensed milk vinegar sauces. <laughs> no, they will never know about that. No, you got to put like, you know, fried jalapenos and you get some like super yeah. spicy uh pepperoni on top and some mustard I, I like i like i like whoa i like pepperoni on a burger oh yeah i've never blow thought my of mind yep. blow my mind yeah it's it's just a super spicy burger spicy pepperoni you got the hot sauce you got uh you know pepper jack bacon and some fried jalapenos awesome that sounds great oh, i and, love oh. cheeseburgers and you gotta put on the uh the red the hot pepper gouda cheese oh yeah that's awesome i my favorite thing about cheeseburgers or burgers in general is their versatility any any kind of cheese any sort of like veg you want to put on there any kind of sauce they it all works like you throw eggs on it it's so good oh so good what you I never had a, a cheesy egg burger i i can't do kick this man off the in server. general <laughs> especially uh, is like it is it like an allergy egg. No, I just don't like the texture of egg. Well, it's an important day when we when we all lose respect for Odron. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll do like scrambled eggs with hot sauce. Okay. But I just can't do like a sunny side up or an over easy. Oh, I love the the gooey egg. Yeah, I can't the do that dippy. gooey. Yeah, the dippy egg is great. But thank you all so much for indulging my burger. Uh, conversation. If you want to talk about burgers, come join the Discord. You can find it at FinalFantasyRandomizer.com. There's a whole channel for foodie talk. Uh, people post pictures of food there beyond just me doing it. Uh, it's yeah. a wonderful time. There's also, you can play the game here too. But <laughs> If you're interested in learning the game and haven't really done it much, we have our Duckling Boot Camp coming up later this month. Oh, what's Same. that? It's uh, where some of our really amazing senior players help new players learn the game through different types of seeds different types of uh flags and everything yeah through the boot camp and uh, at the end of the boot camp we have the duckling derby where all of our new uh, ducklings get to have a tournament against each other to find out who's going to be the what is it the duckling prime Duckling Supreme, like the Supreme pizza. for the uh, next year. That sounds, it, that sounds like a ton of fun. Hey, it's how I got myself into a top four and almost a top eight in this tournament. Yeah, th there's one thing we do well in this community is it's making the new players just as good as the old players. It's important. Well, thank you so much, Odron, my co coms Thank you so much to Danny and, and Osloto running behind the scenes doing the track doing the restreaming edge fizzle like i said before it's always a pleasure to watch you guys play this game and uh we have some more races coming up on monday i believe at 8 or 9 p.m i think 9 p.m eastern chanigan and spells app are going to be running and once fizzle and pickles get their match scheduled uh, there's not a lot of matches left so if you want to if you don't want to miss one come join the discord again fundamentsrandomizer.com Hop on the Discord, grab the spectator role. You'll never miss a race announcement. And get to watch how this tournament draws to its climactic conclusion. Who is going to race Fry Teeth in the finals? But I'm Caleb. And I was um, hanging out with Odron. It's a lot of fun. Goodbye. <laughs>